What's going on, fam, Alamo? How are you? Wishing you a splendid day, sir. Welcome back to another video on Jazza TV. What's going on with Jazza? Does Jazza still fight these days? Is Jazza retired? Jazza, what's happening, lad? Are you still fighting? I get this every single day, but since my last fight, was, what was it, last October? I have had, I worked it out today, since September, I've had eight, eight dates, eight fight dates I've had which have all fell through. So I've been training since September for a fight date. So, it's frustrating to say the least, especially when there's people backing you and there's people supporting you and they all wanna know what's going on. You're gonna get your finger out and just fight. And that's, the, that's how you feel sometimes. People are saying to you, what's going on, lads? Are you still fighting? But yeah, I've had eight fights fall through, but what happened is, I'm gonna go back a while now, aren't I? From the start, from when I had me, when I had that fight in October, I lost. I had a rematch clause. The rematch clause promotionally didn't materialise. So then, the company who I was working with at the time, I don't know what happened with them, but. Their fights never materialised. I think I had two dates, what, well, two or three dates. What, what didn't happen with them? What they said, we're going to fight in this date, we're going to fight in this date, we're going to fight in this date, and it just didn't happen. And then, at the time, my manager, Tony Bellew, went into the jungle, in Celebrity Jungle, <laughs> which is great to see. And obviously, you, you, I'm waiting for a date, but my manager is in the jungle. Um, so, I, could, I just had to train and had to do my own thing and, and get keep myself in shape until he got out of the jungle. When he got out of the jungle, Tony's obviously mad busy on in data but like with media obligations and and the fame level he's a celebrity so it was like he he couldn't manage anymore. And not that he was he was when I say managing, he was helping me, you know what I mean, helping me for a long time and he was great for me. And he's done a lot for me, which I'll never never uh, uh, be able to repay him for what he's done for me as a manager. More as a as a, f a friend or a helper, you know what I mean? Someone who's um, pulling favours in, basically. That's how it works a lot of the time. And because of his position in boxing, he used his influence to help me, which is very, very kind. So I'll never forget that. So he couldn't carry on. <coughs> I thought, I managed myself for a while. Managing myself for a while. And um, I've been in conversation with a few promoters and it's like, I've messaged every promoter to be honest. Some of them, the big ones, the huge ones, because I've been on the back of that loss, you can tell they boycott me a little bit, reading messages and not replying and stuff like that, or saying I will get back and not getting back because they don't want to take the risk on me fighting their top lads. So the people who I have spoken to, they have given me dates, I have gone in camp back and forth to Ireland, it cost a lot of money, to, um, three or four dates, different dates. And managing myself, here's where I'm, I've been at. I've been at like, if I give me word that I'm gonna fight on the show because you said let's work together, I shake your hands and and that's that. And I'm not gonna be talking to anybody else. As a manager, I have spoken to other managers regarding the fight that I manage and still not brought up myself. Whereas it could have been possibility to even me mention myself in there would you like to work with me i've spoken to other promoters in the meantime where opportunities would have came about if i had these conversations but it weren't the right thing to do and i don't think it's um integral to do that once you've given someone your word but with these fighters fights falling through time and time again basically push back so i've never been in a, in a position to have it um another conversation with somebody else to see what's best for me and to feather my own nest. So I've made the decision to to get a manager myself, um, Lee Eaton. Let's go management, probably the best around really. He's, the hard, he's definitely the hardest working manager around. And you know, with Lee Eaton, that I'm excited to work with him again. And you know that if you're not speaking to him, he's still working. And that's what type of fella he is. He works hard, as hard as I work. 
I work hard in the boxing side of things, he works hard in the managing side of things. So I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, just bear with me, all the people who support me, <coughs> the people who endorse me, don't think that I'm not I'm um, taking your support lightly. I work hard, I work hard every single day. Not not for you, for me. And I appreciate the support still, but just bear with me. We will be back on top soon and we'll have a date very soon. A date that I can that the promoters can commit to and I'm looking forward to um seeing what's next i know i'm in a great position i was supposed to fight probably would have, the latest one would have been cancelled two nights ago <clears throat> and that would have been in three or four weeks time so i'm gonna have a maybe a week off or what maybe and um get oh well a light week and then get back on it because i'm not going home i've said i'm not going home now until the fight so i'm going to be living in ireland constantly today is my ma's birthday can't be there but happy birthday to you ma um, so yeah, a lot of these things I'm missing. Time's passing me by, but I don't want to keep going home without bringing the bacon home. So that's where I'm at, um, and I'm looking forward to see what's coming next. After what I just said just now, <clears throat> I understand nobody's to blame for my. No one's responsible for my career. I'm responsible for my career. No promoter is responsible for me. So. I take no um, I take full responsibility for where my career is right now. I don't blame anyone for where I'm at right now. But I think having a manager can um, help me more because they can a manager can speak to twenty five promoters on your behalf, but if you do it yourself you're gonna have to be um, solely committed to the first person that you give your word to. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's next and uh, the journey with Lee Eaton is uh, going to be exciting for me so thank you for watching this video and thank you for the replies that i've been getting um on the other videos a few young fighters coming back to me saying um, i watched the video that was good advice for exactly where i'm at right now in my career and stuff like that so that's nice to see that the, the videos that i've been doing with spare time they're paying off and um they're helping other people with my experience so yeah long may it continue thank you for watching have a nice day and um don't forget well not don't forget because the video is going off now like and subscribe right right this second do it now i'm not i'm not messing around here from <laughs> do you think i'm messing do you honestly think i'm messing with you now turn turn this is the thing up there and press subscribe because you know what happens when you do that i get loads of money out of it <laughs> now what happens is my channel goes bigger and then the, the more the the bigger the channel goes the more it gets pushed to other people the more people see it the more views it gets the more i don't even know actually do i get money out of it well like and subscribe and if if you see me next time in a, in a, um, <laughs> a lamborghini then you know <laughs> if it helps or not so yeah you have a little bit of a went off topic there slightly but you have a lovely day family